Hello there, I am Dranko with more Pokemon Diamond video, and the last part we took on the uh, Route 210 and we can fight it all, so yeah. Oh, um, there's an old spaceman, there's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seems to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. That's not, I thought this game was rated E. <laughs> the neat, not the nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, here's the Team Galactic Grunt. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. That's not very nice. If you were, if you were try to, if you try and mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So, what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Yes. You dare post Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. Okay, whatever. Okay, this guy has like a crow gunk and a beautiful eye. So, um, he starts off with his beautiful eye, of course. I have bronze up front because the bronze is only level 29, so he needs to catch up in levels and stuff. So hopefully we can do that. So let's see, let's use, um, extra sensory to start off, I guess. It's gonna use gust on us, which are on uh, bronze, which shouldn't be—it's not very effective, because I'm because the bronze is half steel type, so that's good. Let's see how much this extra sensory does. Get the extra sensory again. Um, morning sun, you're gonna heal yourself. Of course, of course you're gonna heal yourself. That's yeah, that's great. <laughs> You're making this battle take longer. I might have to switch out if this takes too long, you know? Don't use Morning Sun again. Okay, use Mega Drain, good. I'd rather you just take half of the damage you inflicted on Bronze, which won't be that much. Yeah. And yeah, other than using Morning Sun and healing up all your HP again. Jeez. One more extra sensory should do it. Okay, stun spoil, okay. That's cool, I guess. Not really. But extra sensory hits, okay. Cool. Nice. And the beautiful should go down. There we go. And then your other Pokemon's the Crow Gunk. Okay, so if you have a Psychic type Pokemon or a, psychic, a Pokemon with Psychic type moves, it's four times super effective against this Crow Gunk because it's poison and fighting. So yeah, your Swagger. Okay, of course, this is not good. I don't want my attack raised anyway. I don't want to be confused either. Jeez. Ah, this is gonna go crazy. Okay, so if I don't be confused, but then I could be paralyzed. Okay, I'm gonna heal my paralysis. Um, yeah. First, so let me do that. Um, my paralysis heal. Pursuit, okay. That'll be neutrally effective against bronze. Okay, but it still didn't do much, so that's good. Extra sensory again. I'm just, oh, it snapped out of confusion, nice. Brown snapped out of confusion. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. So this should be a two, maybe take two extra sensories. Help, oh, just one. Cool. Okay. Too much to handle. I can't do anything here. Uh, this plan. This place is nothing. I'll be happy. I'll be happily rid of this place. I don't think I said that right. Okay, um, oh, well, you're, you were magnificent, aren't you quite the trainer? Right. As the elder of the Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that charm, may I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver it to me? To deliver it to me? Uh, that's Cynthia, she's my granddaughter. We handed the old charm to the elder. Yeah, long ago, I made an uh, honor of a mythical identity said to uh, have created Sinnoh. The, these, old, the, these old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Swastown, why not look around inside the ruins? Okay, I'll do that. 
Oh, by the way, hold on. It's just gone if you go back out. Um, the giant uh, etching of a Pokemon-like creature covers the wall. There's said there's some fading text uh, etched in as well. The full uh, that type of time never stops. The past, future, and present. Okay. A giant will, uh, etching of a Pokemon-like creature covers the wall. There's some faded text etched in the, as in as well. Uh, space is ever expanding dimensions. Our spirit too. Our spirits too. Ours are as space. Okay. So, if we go inside the ruins and we see this soul drawing on the on the um, wall, Stephen. Uh, examine the ancient cave ho painting. Mysterious design covered a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things f uh, forming in a triangle. So, in the middle of them, a shining sphere? What is that? What is this all about? Interesting. The cave painting's meaning seems to be this. There uh, existed a being, a being powerful it was considered identity at the time. Uh, opposing this powerful being with three Pokemon, uh, the, three, the three kept balance with the being as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. Oh yes, I have found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my grandmother, gra granddaughter, sorry, but it, she doesn't use it anymore. We got a Chimo 3, which is Surf. Awesome. Yeah. Every Pokemon learns Surf. It can carry you across water and the sea. B but my granddaughter said something about this hidden move. Oh yes. To use Surf outside of battle, you'll need the Heart Home, Heart Home Gym Badge. Must first, The Heart Home Gym Badge must first be obtained. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Okay, fair enough. So actually, I want to teach that to um, Jetta right now, actually, because Jetta gets a really good water type move now, so that's good. So let's teach it to I know I know Beck can learn, of course, but um, Jetta, yeah, yeah, yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of um. Hmm. Water gun's 40, swift is 60. I'll get rid of water gun. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now we can exit the ruins, which is pretty cool, I guess. Because we're all done here, I guess. So I know I'm, I know we're all done here. Um, there appears to be have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should stop. Step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective, one that is on a universal scale. Uh, my name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. However, the pa that power seems to be un unavailable here. Uh, we've made met before, yes, it was at Mount Cornet. If you discover any power derived uh, from the legends of Sinnoh, inform me. For that power is what I need to make to create the new, my new world. Interesting. He's Sonic Man. He's Sonic Man, guys. Okay, I'm gonna heal up real quick, um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so. Uh, there's. Uh, I think this is where the Pokemon is, or like a. Supposed to be Pokemon, yeah. Um, bye, I guess. Yeah, I can buy like items and stuff here, although I'm not going to. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I could buy some more pills actually. So let me do that. Let's see here. Let's just buy that many. How many do I have in my bag? Twenty-one. Okay, cool. And then what do you sell right here? Um, oh, dusk balls and quick balls and timer balls. That's pretty cool. Although I'm not interested in any of that right now. So I'll just skip out. And then, I think it's in here that it's very important that you go in here and read this book. It's an old book, Stephen began reading it. With what, when that Pokemon was born, insignificant bloomed among us. 
intelligence bloomed among us, uh, enriching our lives. For what, when that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. With that Pokemon was born, uh, when that Pokemon was born, what power bloomed among us, spurring us into action. So I thought you gave a picture of Palkia. I am from Twinless Town. Let's put the big motion. I thought this gave you a picture of Palkia for your Pokedex. Let me see the Pokedex. Did we get a picture of Palkia? Um, sure we go down this way. Let me see here. Because... I thought you would get a picture of Palkia. Nope, of course not. Maybe it's later on. You have to check the book or something. I think it's after you, uh, you know, you covered, uh, when you encounter Dialga. If you're playing Diamond, you'll be encounter Dialga, of course, but if you're playing Palkia, or uh, Pearl, you'll play, you'll encounter Palkia. But the other one's in that book, I guess. But obviously not available right now. Let me just check. Yeah, we got the gym badge. We need the gym badge to surf outside of battle. Okay, I got it. Cool. Okay. So we'll have to wait for that waiter, I guess. Um, let's pick some berries. This is a, a grappa berry. Would you like to pick it? Pick the grappa berry. Awesome. Nice. This is a spear berry. Would you like to pick it? Sure. And this is a Petra Berry. We'd like to pick it. Nice. Here's an that Pepper Berry. Cool. That's really cool, I guess. And I'm gonna use our Pellet here, just because I don't want to run into a Pokemon. So, yeah, here's a. Fighter, he's a black belt dude. Luckily, I have bronze on my front, so I'll be so I can use like extra sensory and stuff. Haha, ha, I've I'm psyched for this. Uh, here goes. In that battle, Karen grew to level 33, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll switch with the Inferno. Okay, so let's go over here. We can use Cut right there, of course, but um, yeah, there's a honey tree. I think that's really about it. There may be an item or something, but I don't see an item actually. So, I don't know. Here's another entrance to Mount Cornet, but um, we can't really get through here because we need strength and stuff. And here's an item though. There's an escape rope. Cool. Um, yeah, we need strength for those two parts right there. So let's use another repel. And yeah, we can exit out of the cave now. Or my corner, I should say. And here's a ninja boy. Let's battle him. Speed it's, is a ninja's best weapon. Can you keep up? I can try. With that boss battle, um, Bronze Gear level 30, and try to win Safeguard, but I didn't want it to win Safeguard, so yeah. I'm gonna give a Super Potion to, uh, to Bronze, by the way, just so it's healed up and stuff. 
Okay, nice. Here's a ruined maniac, dude. Wait, you just... You just made it, so I have to go all the way back around. Wait, I can use, I can use Rock Smash at the top of the screen. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, uh, whilst um, exploring the ruins, uh, I spotted a trainer. I must investigate. Okay, so we want to go up here, smash this rock right here, because we can, and smash this rock right here, if I can get to it. There we go. If you use rock climb up here, it's actually the TM for Psychic. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm like 80% sure of that, but um, we don't have rock climb yet, and I would really like to get that TM for it to teach you the bronze, but we don't have rock climb yet, so that kind of stinks. Let's talk to this ace trainer down here first before we talk to that one up there. I'm strong, 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 I'm sh- uh, am I really? No, I'm strong, I'm strong, okay, it's all good to go. He's all shocked. Uh, I think it's a he, it's a boy. Um, wow, you startled me good. I think you'll understand what it, what I was doing when I, you see this TM. TM 77, which I don't, is psych up or something? Let me explain how it moves without getting too technical. Let's say your opponent raises its defense using Harden. Your Pokemon can use Psych Up to get the same defense boost as its foe. Basically, your Pokemon gets the same status boost as its target. Cool. I probably won't use it though, but honestly, but that's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe for like competitive battling. Um, I go everywhere where with my Noctowl. We're gonna show you owl best ha huh. Okay, so that was a pretty interesting battle with that Noctowl, <laughs> yeah, to say the least. I think we're done with this route, which is actually route 211, the bottom part, the other part of 211, I guess, because 211 was also uh, east of Turner City. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to fly back to Heart Home, because that's where we want to go next to get our Heart Home City Gym Badge. So, yeah. So let's see here, Heart Home City is right here. That's pretty cool. And I want to switch up my Pokemon too. Well, not, now I go to the PC, but like I want to switch up the order of my Pokemon that I have now. Um, well, Karen is going to have a fun, uh, you know, gym with gym challenge with uh, having uh, having assurance and all that. The move assurance. Um, but I'm going to put Jet up front because Jet also knows Crunch, which is a really good dark type move. For, for this gym, it's a ghost type Pokemon, so you, so you want to have ghost or um, dark type Pokemon. Because it's super effective against them. Okay, so let's just put Karen right there. And then we can put Inferno right there. And yeah, I guess that's the order. Okay, I'm going to heal up real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, my Poe off in the middle of the Pokemon Center, so that's that I guess. Here's the Heart Home City Gym, uh, Leader Fantina, uh, the, uh, the Luring, um, Sulfur Dancer, Sulfur Dancer, Sulfur, Sulfur, I can't even pronounce the word right. Okay, so there's the order, okay, um, so I'm gonna end the part right here, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond, we do walk through that part, and the next part we'll take on this gym, and, yeah. So this is uh, so this has been then uh, um so this has been John Go again. I would like to thank you for again. Goodbye, and up to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond video walkthrough guide.